So what is Yancicamp? Yancicamp.com. What do you provide? I get the question periodically. How does the program work? I'm here in this short video to provide you as much information as possible, give you the full rundown, A to Z, all things Yancey Camp. Okay, we're gonna start with the premier OCR training program. I work with a lot of uh, high-level athletes. Amazing opportunity I have to work with a lot of high-level athletes. What YanceyCamp.com premier OCR training program allows you to do is team with that athlete and I. You get to pick an athlete, three categories. There's short distance, there's mid to long, and there's ultra. You kind of pick the category that you think your key A races or the, a ra the races you're doing the most of that year. Pick an athlete from that category. Here's reality, folks. Most of us in the sport of OCR, from the high level down to the lowest level, and everybody in between, open, competitive, age group, elite level, most do not have time to live on the side of the mountain and spend all day in the gym. So what I do is take three of the same workouts that I program for the, the high level athlete that you team with, and I provide those for you. We launch the workouts every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Makes for a great Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday plug-in, for example. Now here's the deal. I'm setting you up for success. Very important. If you put your head on the pillow at night on a Sunday evening and all you got in that week were those three workouts, you still can legitimately say that was a good week. It may not be a great week, but that's a good week. Most of us, <clears throat> I don't care what excuses you have, how crazy busy you are, family, work life, whatever. Most of us can take the time. If we're disciplined to get three workouts in, if you get those in, you're going to have a good week. Now, also provide some bonus workouts to help mesh in or to add to those. So if you currently have a training program, these three workouts will, will mesh in well to your program as well. You just have to be careful not to get into an overtraining mode. So how do I program the workouts? It's very important that you maximize your time in that gym. If you're going to the gym for 45, 60 minutes, I want every single second in, you spend in that gym to translate out on course in the world of obstacle course racing. That's very important. So I provide you with good structure. Your run game is going to improve. Your climb game is going to improve. Your heavy carry game. Your obstacle proficiency game is going to improve. You are going to fail fewer obstacles. I personally guarantee that. I have a lot of great examples from the highest level in the sport. Uh, that, that that's going to happen. That that's going. The workouts will translate out on course. We have an online uh, testing program. When you sign on, we like for you to complete five fitness tests. You're going to log those in your online uh, testing program. Anytime you retest, you're going to re-log those results. So you we get to keep track of your progression. Testing is very important. I love working progressive workouts throughout the uh, the year. Perfect example, I'll launch a workout and we'll progress it over the course of a meso cycle, maybe six to eight weeks. And we're in the middle of one of those right now. It's one of the reasons I'm shooting this video. Listen, free month of training, providing the link in this post. Uh, you start, it starts with work, uh, the latest progression we're doing starts with workout 616. I just launched 619. This is a seven week progression. And it, all my active clients know that I love working progressions trying to work as much periodization as possible into the training. Very, very important, and it's just fun. Um, so this one's a seven-week progression. To try the free month, uh, it'll get just about get you through the whole program. Again, you'll start with 616, then 619 every week will progress it, and it gives you a chance to kind of see some of the, uh, the running and climbing progression and some of the grip strength uh, and OCR-specific strength training through the progression program. I mentioned workout 616, 619, what are those? Listen, we've been going for four and a half years, folks, and I have never pro programmed the same workout twice. I'm a big believer. As long as you pay attention to some basic science, basic programming skills, you can be creative. We gotta be an artist as a coach. Um, it's like putting beautiful paint on the canvas, our music to the guitar. A good trainer and a coach, I'm a decent one, is artistic. I love to be artistic with the programming. I don't want to, I'm not a copy and paste coach, never will be. Always find ways to make it creative so you get to enjoy the programming. I promise you the work you put in will translate out on course. We have hundreds and hundreds of people, 20 plus countries across the globe that will verify that. What else do we offer at Actually, let me go back to OCR. We also have an exercise video library that includes approximately 200 exercise videos. If you see a, a, an exercise that I program it doesn't make sense to you, you can go to the library and easily find that. We have a great closed uh, Facebook group, uh, great forum, Yancey Camp Athletes and Coaches. 
where all the coaches are there. I mean, I'm sorry, all the OCR roster, roster athletes are there. I'm there. So all the people in the program get to communicate with myself anytime you want. Other people in the group, and you can also contact, reach out, post your, you know, post your accomplishments, workout questions, and myself and or the athlete you're teamed with will help answer those questions. So those are just a few of the perks of the program. We like to offer a lot for a little. Okay, other things we offer real quick. Dakota Rager, one of the top OCR, our CrossFit athletes on the planet. Dakota Rager's training program, online training program, is available at Yance Camp. Heather Golnick's triathlon program, five-time Ironman champion. Heather's also one of my OCR athletes, but her triathlon program is there as well. Monica Brandt, Miss Fitness Olympia, one of my best friends in the world. You get Monica Brandt's awesome functional fitness program, balanced fitness program, it's called. Check out Monica. For anybody just kind of getting off the couch, you're tiptoeing into the, the world of fitness, you need something really, really basic, Yancey Culp Fitness is a good program. So those are a few things we offer. Check us out at yanceycamp.com. Again, I'm providing a free month link so you can come in and try our latest seven-week progress, OCR progression program. It starts with workout 616. You can go back. Those 600-something workouts are available to all of you. The day you sign up, you got access to all those workouts. Uh, big, big thing here that I almost forgot. Before every single workout, it's very important. I'm a huge believer in mental conditioning. Before every single workout, I post one of my Yancey Camp pre-workout mental conditioning videos. That's how we start every workout, mental conditioning. I do my best to serve you, serve your mental conditioning before we dive into that physical conditioning. So anyway, that's just a quick rundown. Just barely touching the surface on everything we offer there. We love to provide you a lot with a little. We want your time to translate in life, out on the course. Much love. Thank you for tuning in. As always, keep lighting up the planet, all you rock stars. If you ever need anything, let me know. Rock and roll. Be good. I knew I'd forget a few things. Okay, scalability of the workouts. You're saying, coach, those are the same workouts these elite athletes are seeing. Yes, I want you to see them that way, but I write them in a way that allows them to easily be scaled down. You can scale down the number of rounds. You can scale down the number of the amount of time per round. You can scale down the number of reps per round, very easily scaled. So you can make it work to your 30, 45, 60 minutes that you have in the gym. Okay, where do I start? I signed up today, coach, and we're on, you're on workout 619. Of course, I don't recommend you going back to the start four years ago. I recommend you jumping in right where we are and diving in. That way you get to stay on track with where everybody is. Again, each workout is written in a way to be easily scaled down. So trust me, it'll make sense when you dive in just right where we're at and you just start moving forward with us. We might be in the middle of a progressive workout. Again, I am always launching new progression workouts. So you'll be just fine starting right where we are at. I briefly touched on it. Massive focus on grip and pull strength, grip and pull strength endurance. Not arguable. That's what causes the most failure out on course. From the highest level athlete I have and everybody down below them, we focus on that. If you can't, for the elites, if you can't race clean, you're probably not gonna spend a lot of time on the podium a race very close to clean, age groupers, open categories. It feels amazing as you start getting closer and closer to racing. Your first clean race, failing fewer obstacles, rock and roll, be good. Dang it, I forgot one thing. Contracts, there are no contracts. It's month to month. You sign up, if you, in the first month, you say, this guy's crazy. I can't handle his wild ass energy. Cancel, zero contracts. Much love.